Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Before we get started with today's training, I just wanted to remind, her, remind you that journalisttoolbox.ai is a free resource for you. Uh, you can go in and open up uh, any of these pages. Uh, you'll find links to dozens of AI tools, both free and paid uh, training videos, of which you are watching one right now. Uh, and you can uh, go through and open up these tools and start using them and get up to speed right away. Uh, keep in mind, too, on the right-hand side here, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, we have a newsletter that comes out every other Tuesday morning. Uh, training videos, more than 100 of them up there. Uh, all kinds of goodies up here, uh, including a textbook. Um, if you're looking to really get up to speed on AI tools, uh, you can order my new textbook, The Journalist Toolbox, A Guide to Digital Reporting and AI off of Rutledge. Um, it's often on sale, so uh, it uh, hits uh, bookshelves January of 2024. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. Uh, prices uh, is well priced and it's available as an ebook uh, as well. Um, so the thing I wanted to talk about today, it's a little different. It's not so much about uh, uh, using tools, it's about finding them. Um, if you uh, work with uh, chat GPT quite a bit, you may have uh, started using custom GPTs. Uh, these are tools that people have built uh, that help you do things. Uh, you can even build your own. Um, and one of the frustrating things about ChatGPT's interface, it doesn't really have a way to search for them. It's uh, you know not like the uh, uh, plugin store where you can go and search for it and find all these little tools. The GPTs, you just kind of have to find them and then open them up and then add them to your uh, left rail over here, where I have uh, a bunch of them listed here. Uh, and you do that by, you know, once you have one open, uh, you just go and, and add, it'll say add to sidebar minus hide because I've already got it over here. Uh, and then you can go through and manage them by clicking on the little three dots next to it, the little mini hamburger, and either hide or add to your sidebar. Well, how do you find them in the first place? There's no real, you know, uh, built-in search to it, at least not yet. Um, there are a couple different techniques for doing so. And uh, shout out to Joanne to Titus from uh, the... Uh, Center for Cooperative Media at Montclair State University uh, for sharing uh, some of this with me uh, and helping me out here. There are a couple of easy ways to do it. Um, the root directories is one place to look. If you look at the URL up here at the top, notice after chat.openai.com, uh, there's a slash G, um, and that is a parent directory for all of their chat GPTs. They all go in this folder. Then they give it, you know, various, uh, you know, the, the rest of the web address plays out here and gives it a number and a name, you know, uh, for each one. Um, so that is a little roadmap uh, to help you uh, uh, find um, it, it, these GPTs. And you can search them in Google, uh, which is great. Uh, so all you have to do is type in site colon and then the URL. Uh, which is the G, and it'll just list a bunch of them, okay? And it'll get a little messy here, but I'll show you how to clean it up. Hit return, and you'll get a lot of them, you know, written in Chinese here. Um, you know, and you, as you're scrolling down, it's like, oh my God, all of them are in Chinese, it's crazy. Um, usually I filter it out a little bit. I click on the tools bar over here, uh, and you can filter it out, you know, you know past hour, past 24 hours, uh, and then you'll start to see more of them uh, you know, listed in English. And then you could open them up and then add them in as you go. You know, you find one that's worthwhile. I could go in here, click on it, keep in sidebar, and then now I've got that GPT nice and handy for me. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is if you know what the, GP, the name of the GPT that you want to use is, um, you could go in here, GPT prompt fixer, um, uh, and uh, uh, this is one that I knew existed, uh, and then just type the word chat GPT behind it. Uh, so it knows to go to chat GPT and find that. So it's not picking out some other tool named prompt fixer just randomly off the web. So I go into Google. This is just a nice little hack. Go in, do my search. Scroll down the top part of my main search and presto, there it is, GPT prompt fixer. I can open it up and again, add it to my toolbar. Um, I'll get in more uh, in coming videos on how to use uh, some of these uh, uh, chat GPT, custom GPTs. Uh, maybe even show you how to build one. Joe's got a, a great training on that. Um, and also demo uh, some that I'm starting to build as well. Uh, but starting off with, I just want to make it easy for everybody to find them. 
Uh, so again, uh, make sure you uh, use uh, journalisttoolbox.ai. We have a chat GPT page there that lists some of these uh, really cool, uh, useful uh, custom GPTs for journalists. You have to scroll down a ways on the page, but they're right here. Uh, custom GPTs and chat GPT. And then underneath it, it's got some chat GPT plugins that are very useful as well. Um, these tools will make you much more efficient. I guarantee it. That's all I had for now. Uh, touch base with me on a future training video. We've got more than 100 of them up on our training videos link right here uh, off the side of the journalist toolbox. Take care, everybody.